We are here at the AHCI with Mr. Bernard Lederer. Please let us know what you have here in those two beautiful showcases. Yeah, we have two completely different watches. We have one military item, a watch uh, that had been developed for the diver that have to disarm the sea mines and those divers may not have anything that makes noise nor that has any magnetism with its and therefore we developed a watch that cannot become a magnet by its own and as a result we also found out it resists more than 100,000 gauss what is a measure in nature you will never find but it's simply enormous so no noise and no magnetism that is for the military, for the special equipment, for the divers. Then we have the CIC, the Central Impulse Chronometer. This is, again, we are on the sea. It is, we can call it the first uh, marine chronometer that you must not carry anymore in the cardanic uh, fixing because it is very shock resistant and you can carry it without any problem for the first time on your wrist. And as this is something very special, it had been awarded with the Innovation Prize of the Grand Prix d'Horlogerie de Genève last year. Can you, tell, can you tell us why the military watch has to be magnetic and why the sound has to be very low? Yes, the sea mines are equipped with very high sensible sensors. And if you approach those sensors, what you normally cannot see, they today are very small. And if you are a little bit in the water, you cannot see them. If you approach them and you have the smallest, smallest magnetism with you, like for example the battery of a quartz watch, that is far, far enough to let explode the sea mine. And this is what we would like to avoid. And the sound? And the sound is the same. Those sea mines today, they have also sensors, little microphones that uh, can detect when a boat is coming, when you have a wristwatch uh, who makes too much noise. This all is uh, then uh, reacting on the sensors and then the sea mines will explode.